Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued two edicts amending the executive regulations of the civil service law promulgated by Edict 51 of 2012 in amending the payroll table determining salaries and benefits and prescribing conditions for their entitlement for employees who are subject to the civil service law promulgated in Edict 77 of 2013. These amendments come as part of the government's 2015-2018 work to develop mechanisms for measuring and monitoring government performance by using performance indicators in accordance with the principle of equity among all employees and a practical methodology in the performance management system ADA, which links incentive, bonuses, training and development programs with individual performance, which are in line with efforts to achieve comprehensive development and develop human resources. These amendments are an implementation of the Kingdom's vision to provide high-quality services in the civil service through obtaining national competencies worthy of outstanding government performance to raise the productivity of individuals in the government sector, which reflects positively on the productivity of the public sector and the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Arabia Palace the outgoing ambassador of Thailand to Bahrain, Chayapan Bam Rang Phong. The Thai ambassador conveyed to His Royal Highness the appreciation of the Thai Prime Minister and the Thai government for his wise vision which has contributed to achieving outstanding successes in various fields of development in the Kingdom and has enhanced the Gulf Asian rapprochement. He added that His Royal Highness's vision has established a true partnership that serves the development and economic march of both sides. His Royal Highness hailed the friendly relations between Bahrain and Thailand and the level of bilateral cooperation in various fields reinforced by the agreements signed between the two sides which have laid the foundation for further cooperation. The Prime Minister affirmed that the Bahraini-Thai relations have become a model for relations between countries based on mutual respect and common interests. He noted the role of Thailand in bolstering Gulf Asian cooperation in various fields. His Royal Highness also hailed the role of the Thai ambassador in enhancing bilateral cooperation, wishing him success in his future missions. For his part, rather for his part the Thai ambassador expressed thanks and gratitude for His Royal Highness's role in bolstering Bahraini Thai and Gulf Asian relations, hailing the efforts of the Bahraini government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Premier and strengthening the fraternal bilateral relations. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan, paid a visit to Bogua village. Hamedan met at the Majlis of Parliament member Ghazi Faisal with a number of people from Jablat Habshi, Northern Sehla, Salmabad, and Zaid Town. He reviewed with the people their needs for services provided by the Ministry. Hamedan also noted the efforts of the Ministry to facilitate services, affirming that the Ministry has developed a number of projects and services to people in different governorates in line with the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Minister noted that the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to inspect the needs of citizens reflects his keenness on reinforcing social security and stability for all citizens. He added that the Ministry continues to review and evaluate the programs and development projects to ensure that they are utilized by citizens in all villages and cities of Bahrain. Hamedan noted that the suggestions of the citizens will be taken into consideration, including incorporating the youth into the labor markets and maximizing the use of the Insurance Against Unemployment program. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed al romehi visited the other ministry's training center where he met with students participating in the professional media program. He welcomed the students and congratulated them for choosing the program, which is being organized for the first time by the Ministry of Information Affairs. Aramehi spoke about the need of the Bahraini society for media role models and the main values and characteristics of such figures. He directed the students to be responsible in sharing information while realizing its impact on the minds of the recipients. The ministry reviewed the concept of the comprehensive media personality. He stressed the need of media for such personalities affirming that media figures should constantly train to sharpen their skills. Aramehi underscored the importance of creativity evident in the success of the show TEM despite having many other shows with the same theme, affirming that creativity is the key to success. 
He noted that media work relies on various factors and that uniqueness in media work depends on the personality of media figures rather than their specialization or degrees. The professional media program is being organized by the Ministry of Information Affairs in cooperation with Temkin. A hundred students and graduates from national universities with media and communication degrees are currently taking part in the program. The third Bahrain International Holy Quran Recitation Contest via the Internet International Reciter has been launched today for all those who wish to participate. This was announced during a press conference organized by the Ministry of Islamic Affairs and Endowments in the presence of representatives from sponsoring and supporting organizations. The participation method and awards were announced during the conference as well as the technical and organizational aspects of the previous two versions which contributed to their success and had a positive impact on people of all ages to recite the Holy Quran. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,305.25 points, marking a decrease of 2.4 points below last closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector with 60% of total shares. 55 transactions included 1,801,045 shares worth 498,020 Bahraini dinars. The Central Bank of Bahrain has announced that the insurance industry has shown positive results last year with a general insurance business contributing 81% to the gross premiums. The growth in business from the previous year has been strongest for medical insurance at 19%, followed by engineering insurance at around 7%, and long-term insurance comprised of almost 19% of the total gross premiums. A significant part of such results attributed to a surge in medical insurance, which has increased from 52.20 million Bahraini dinars in 2015 to 62.11 million in 2016, showing an increase of around 19% and representing almost 23% of the total premiums. Bahrain's national carrier Gulf Air recently launched a new card share agreement with Amman Air that sees the airline combined frequencies between Bahrain and Muscat increase to six daily flights. The new code share provides customers with additional frequencies on the popular route while also giving passengers to Bahrain enhanced flight connectivity to various destinations in Europe. Bahrain's national carrier currently serves 42 cities in 25 countries spanning three continents.